Martha Stewart is known for having exceptional taste in design and anything to do with the home, so it can't come as much of a surprise that her own properties reflect that style. Most recently, Martha and her daughter Alexis have dropped $12.3 million on a luxurious duplex in the Belnard, an iconic building in the heart of New York City. The new unit covers the top two floors of the building, offering views of the landscaped interior courtyard and West 87th Street, as well as 4,000 1,600 square feet of living space throughout. However, Martha's primary residence is a stunning 150 acre estate in Katona, New York, complete with beautiful gardens, greenhouses, horse stables, and more. The expansive farmhouse estate features seven structures across the land, some dedicated to her various animals, including five horses, and others used for guests, staff, and entertaining. Martha herself resides in the main house, known as the Winter House, which boasts multiple bedrooms, a porch room, and an attic converted into a gym. Additionally, Martha added a substantial 4,000 square foot extension to the winter house, incorporating a spacious and modern kitchen. Martha Stewart, a name synonymous with impeccable taste and domestic excellence, leads a life as charming as her famed recipes and craft projects. At the heart of Martha Stewart's home life has got to be her impressive 156-acre estate in Katona, New York, which we'll be looking at shortly. Properties' amenities are set up to reflect her passion for gardening and equestrian pursuits like her horses. The main house itself is a beautifully restored farmhouse where Martha has added her unique touch, including in the renovated kitchen, which is the soul of many of her culinary creations she shares with her audience. Stewart's home is more than just a living space. It's a sanctuary for her various animals, including five cherished horses. Beyond her primary residence in Katona, Martha Stewart owns several other properties that show her eye for beauty and functionality. Her East Hampton home, known as Lily Pond Lane, is another example. This historic home is surrounded by lush landscapes and provides a perfect summer retreat. Additionally, she has a property in Seal Harbor, Maine, which offers a rustic and coastal charm that complements her New York estate. While Martha Stewart has always kept much of her private life discreet, her love life has seen its share of public interest. She was married to Andrew Stewart in 1961, and the couple had one daughter, Alexis. However, their marriage ended in divorce in 1990. Since then, Stewart has remained mostly private about any romantic relationship she might have, focusing instead on her career and personal interests. Martha's family life centers around her daughter Alexis Stewart and her two grandchildren Jude and Truman. Martha's relationship with her grandchildren is particularly dear to her, often sharing moments of their time together on social media. Family gatherings at Martha's house are filled with warmth, laughter, and of course, exceptional food and decor. In recent real estate news, Martha and her daughter Alexis invested a considerable $12.3 million into a chic residence at the Belnard. This Lux building is located in the heart of New York City and is famously known as the Arconia from the TV series Only Murders in the Building. Originally priced at $13.2 million, a duplex unit in the former luxury apartment building was acquired by Martha and her daughter at a significant $6 million discount from the first $18 million ask back in 2017. According to records, the seller was the Belnard's current developer, Westbrook Partners, who took over the condo conversion project from HFZ Capital Group in 2021. Situated in the 12-story pre-war residential building, Building, Martha's new home spans the top two floors, offering views of the landscaped interior courtyard and West 87th Street. The residence features six bedrooms and seven baths within 4,600 square feet of Robert A.M. Stern designed living space complete with north and south exposures. Other features include 10-foot ceilings and solid white oak floors. The Belnard is utilized on the series Only Murders in the Building starring Steve Martin, Selena Gomez, and Martin Short, more specifically for all exterior and courtyard scenes involving the Arconia, which is what it's called in the show. Notable features of the real-life building include a formal entry foyer leading to a spacious living room with a wall of over oversized windows. 
Also in Martha's specific apartment, there is an adjacent dining area that connects to a custom designed Multini kitchen. Equipped with counters, high end appliances, a 45 bottle Sub Zero wine fridge, and integrated storage bench. The elegant master suite in the apartment includes an outdoor terrace, a large walk in closet, and a luxury marble clad bath with radiant heated floors and much more. Additional highlights include a powder room with snow white marble carved sink and a laundry room. The Stewart ladies will enjoy numerous building amenities and services, paid for by a nearly $4,500 monthly fee. These include a 24 hour doorman, an entertainment lounge with catering kitchen, a plush games room, a double height sports court, a fitness center, and a children's playroom. In addition to their new home at the Bell Nerd, Martha Stewart's main residence remains her 156-acre estate in Westchester County, New York, which she purchased for $15.2 million in 2002. Reportedly, Martha sold the family's West Village triplex apartment for $31 million early last year, shortly before she and her daughter finalized the purchase at the Bell Nerd. Dubbed Cantita, Tito Corners, Martha Stewart's current sprawling farmhouse is 156 acres of land that she purchased back in 2000 for the whopping price of $15.2 million and located in Katona, New York. Sold to Martha by the family of Ruth Sharp, a millionaire who owned the property for 50 years before her death, this estate is composed of several buildings seven in total, scattered throughout the grounds and making it look more like a village. Martha has tended to her peaceful farm property for over 20 years, and each year she seems to add more and more to beautify and upkeep it. Martha uses the main home on the property as her residence, which is a three-story farmhouse first built in 1925 and often referred to as the Winter House. This structure features a spacious front porch, a fireplace, and stylish dormer windows. After taking on the property, Martha reached out to architect Alan Greenberg to expand the main farmhouse. Not only did he turn an old garage that used to hold farming equipment into a brand new entertaining space just off the kitchen, he also took a nearby barn and turned this one into an office project room for Martha's endless amounts of arts and crafts. According to the Martha Stewart blog, the huge property also includes multiple gardens, greenhouses, stables, grazing fields, staff and tennis quarters, and storage facilities. Some areas are used for Martha's many animals that call the property home, like her five horses. Martha's main home, the Winter House, was repainted when she moved in, a color which she named Bedford Grey, due to the great tones that the cold mornings cast on the property during the winter. Her enclosed porch here was painted to match the existing house and offers six sliding doors that double as large windows. During the renovation process, Martha actually had the entire front of the home turned to face the other way. So these days it looks towards the apple trees. She also added on a huge 4,000 square foot addition, which is like a separate house in itself. And it included a large chef style kitchen. Martha's elegant dining room offers a long table with 12 wicker chairs and plenty of space to entertain, while plants in sparkling gold pots line it to end. In fact, Martha's home is full of plants for greenery and fresh air. Martha's impressive chef's kitchen at her house is reportedly a throwback to her first home kitchen in Turkey Hill, which featured the same hanging pots and pans. This beautifully customized kitchen has seen many recipes from Martha over the years, taking photographs of her recipes in this very spot. The storage is open and airy for easy access while cooking in the kitchen is connected to the main house by a servery and the sprawling dining room. She also transformed one of the rooms in the winter house said to be an attic level into a home gym. Here, Martha has several workout equipment options to choose from like treadmills, stairmasters, weightlifting machines, even a massage table. The upstairs gym is the perfect place to exercise when it's too cold to go horseback riding. In addition to the main residence, there's even a colonial structure that dates back to 1770 that once served as the original home for the property called the Summer House. There's also a cottage, a guest house known as Maple Avenue House, and even a more contemporary home built to the back of the property. Rounding things out are a series of horse stalls, barns, and greenhouses. 
And Martha doesn't only continuously renovate her own home, but the animals' homes too, like a recent renovation on the chicken coops. That being said, there's a variety of animals on her property. Aside from her horses, Martha has 150 chickens, 5 donkeys, and some geese, while she also cares for several birds, dogs, and two cats. The massive property also has at least one swimming pool and a tennis court, all of which is surrounded by gorgeous gardens. As we can see, Martha Stewart's life's a blend of personal and professional achievements, marked by her dedication to family and her love for beautifully crafted homes. Each property is a masterpiece in its own right and shows Martha's commitment to creating spaces that are both functional and beautiful. That wraps up our house tour for today, but before we go, answer this question for me. Which animals would you most like to have if you owned a farm estate? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. I'm Care the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey everyone, it's Kara, or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me, and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself, and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix, and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.